Here is 61.11. Uh, like I said, uh, the 61s in that last sale, we had three of those, uh, a trio that were a little bit smaller that we'd pulled off the decks and uh, and thought those were a little bit further along. And now these guys have I definitely, I can say, have caught them and maybe just a little bit past uh, where you want them to be uh, uh, sale time. But uh, like he said, uh, it, like uh, Chad said, take some of that guesswork out, some of the sword out of them. 6111, uh, he will be uh, fixed. He's, he's uh, one testicle retained, so we'll have to get that fixed, a breath taker. Bigger pig on, on pounds. Again, you can kind of calculate with these guys where you need to be. That one just hits me as solid and basic. That is a very good hog that, that checks all the boxes for all the, the solid things that you need to have in, in, in to make balance and make look and make a presentation. This one has a really good look in front of his blade. Uh, um, his elevation is proportionate to the length of body he's got tremendous shape this hog has got a lot of muscle down his top that is a big ditch running down his top and a in a big uh, big shapely uh, kind of a stifle going directly away but still able to accommodate he's not wanting to show off the best for us right out here today but he's capable everything fits there really well his angles and his skeleton off of both ends are very good um, uh, the right kind of bone to match everything you see uh, up high not gonna have to be fed real uh, real hard or, or give him a, an extra boost of protein to, to make everything there it's all there just just feed him take care of him keep him healthy well, you know, I've always said that you get a big top working in them, and, and that's where you got to start. You got to have some shape. You got to have some top shape to him. Uh, this guy is incredible from the standpoint of his length of front end with that kind of back shape and that kind of turn of rib. Uh, this one's got some flair when you get right square behind him, and it's hard to put all those things in, and there's no crest when you get up on the front end. And, and again, it's a long, neat look with a wide chest uh, put together with muscle. It's a market dog. Yep, and I think anybody that's uh, ever tried to, to feed a, a show pig more than once understands that it, it's a process. Um, and, and a lot of times them ones that you <sighs> – maybe aren't oh my gosh come look at this one i bought from so and so that aren't those sometimes those are the ones that uh, august 1st it's like hey come look at this one i bought from so and so this one is 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 not going to just blow you away in terms of exotic look and, and clubbiness but i think that one looks like to me you take him home get him off a self feeder you manage his intake uh, that one's going to tone up and look more athletic and trendy and whatever those things are. When you get him home, slow him down a little bit and, and put that one on your program, and I think you'll you'll people will be surprised with what you've got. 61-11, breathtaker bore.